To the pandemic tonight, Moderna announcing their human trials of their Omicron-specific vaccine now underway tonight, 24 hours after Pfizer did the same. It comes as COVID-related deaths are on the rise in this country, nearly 2,200 deaths every day. Tonight, CDC Director Dr. Rochelle Walensky warning that although Omicron may be milder than Delta, milder in her words does not mean mild. And tonight, what Dr. Fauci is now saying about the potential for a universal vaccine for COVID. Here's ABC's Ariel Reshef tonight. Just days after Pfizer launched trials of an Omicron-targeted vaccine, Moderna announcing it too has started trials on an Omicron-specific vaccine. These variant-based vaccines may not play a role immediately, but they will be important as we think about the long-term view and how we begin to live with COVID going forward. It comes as federal health officials said scientists are already working on a universal COVID vaccine that could take on current and future variants. But Dr. Fauci stressing it will take time. I don't want anyone to think that pan-coronavirus vaccines are literally around the corner in a month or two. It's going to take years to develop in an incremental fashion. Despite mounting evidence, Omicron is less severe. The unprecedented surge in infections pushing the daily death toll to its highest point in nearly a year. Milder does not mean mild, and we cannot look past the strain on our health systems and substantial number of deaths. And so many hospitals are running out of room. This empty bed is now the only empty bed in the hospital and it's already spoken for. 22 more patients at this Oklahoma City hospital are just waiting for a bed. The sickest COVID patients are unvaccinated. They don't go home. We have about a 50% mortality rate in our ICUs if you are unvaccinated. And these are young patients. And tonight, scientists are tracking that subvariant of Omicron called BA2, now in the U.S. and at least 55 countries. BA2, sometimes called the stealth variant because it can be trickier for scientists to pinpoint its exact version. But for anyone infected with the new subvariant, those PCR and rapid tests will still work at detecting infection. Our Maria Villarreal is in Dallas, where researchers are hunting for BA2. We're not sure if it's going to really change the symptoms or change the severity of disease. It seems unlikely. It seems most likely that it just will outcompete the original Omicron strain and probably continue along in a similar manner. And David, Dr. Fauci is now saying that the hope is that through enough vaccinations, boosting and infection, that we can reach a level of protection in the community that will prevent another variant from disrupting our daily life like Omicron has. David? Oh, let's hope so. Ariel. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.